Hello, I'm Flynn from Distinct Magazine. Today we are going to talk with Elizabeth Hamlet. Elizabeth is a learning consult and consultant and author of Seven Steps to College, a pathway of students with learning disabilities. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Flynn. How are you tonight? Or I guess it's this morning for you. Yeah, it is. Thank you for joining us today. Tell us about your background as a learner consultant. So I started this part of my career as a high school special ed teacher back in the mid 1990s. And at one point I had a part time job and I started learning of, excuse me, working at a college as a learning disabilities consultant there. And that was work I really enjoyed. So um, I'm now at the third university that I've worked in in about 25 years, I think, and I get to meet one-on-one -on -one with students who are registered with our office, and I help them with things like time management, um, organization, reading and writing strategies, things like that. Okay. What led you to being an author? Well, as I started working at the college level, I realized that when I was trained to work at the high school level, there were things that I did not know about how the laws change at college um, and how that affects things like uh, accommodations. And so I had a real interest in sharing that information so that you know students could get the right preparation. And I thought a book was a good way to do that. Okay. Have I got it right that college is also what some countries call the university in Australia? Some colleges are years 10 to 12. What is your definition of college? So I love this question and I, I try to do some homework and look up the difference between a university and a college in America. So at the I am not, I was unable to find any explanation I that that seemed very reliable to me. Um, I saw some that, that made a distinction between uh, a college that was, uh, that a college was just a, a, a school that you go to what we call post-secondary, um, uh, that doesn't have a graduate school and that a university has both undergraduate and graduate programs, but that didn't seem consistent. So I'm not sure I can answer that question. Just to be clear, in the US, um, high, teenagers attend what we call high school, grades nine through 12. Okay. Tell us more about your book, Seven Steps to College. To College Success, A Pathway for Students with Disabilities. Um, I try to make a really logical progression for readers, um, and it's intended for parents, for professionals, and for students who really want to learn a lot. Um, I find that sometimes students just want the basics. They don't want as much detail um, as the book provides, but um, I talk about the differences in laws that apply at the college level here in the U.S., um, and what kinds of changes folks might recognize, and then talk about how students get access to accommodations at the college level, because that's also different, uh, what kinds of academic and non-academic skills they need for success. Um, we talk a little bit about um, what students might want to think about when they're looking at colleges, um, and also I talked to some what we call deans of admission at colleges to see what um, they think about students talking about their disability in their um, college applications and how they view those things. Um, and then uh, the last bit is all about the kinds of accommodation students might or might not commonly expect to have approved. Okay. What is a big tip you can share with the distinct community about moving to college? Um, I think it's the right move for a lot of students. Um, I just as with their neurotypical peers, I think that they should think about why they want to go to college. A lot of students just do it. Um, and that's often fine. Um, but if they have found that the 
the academic tasks they do in high school don't really interest them and aren't things that they want to do for another four years here in the United States, then they may want to look at programs that are very focused um, on career paths that are interested for them. But for those who do want to go, I want to let them know that students with disabilities are attending all sorts of schools all over the country, what we call very highly selective colleges here in the States have to have um, basic accommodations as do community colleges and all sorts of colleges. So um, if they go, I recommend that they register for their accommodations and utilize them. And that they also utilize the other supports on campus like counseling centers and tutoring, um, that they try to connect with some folks on campus that might serve as mentors to them or just good connections and connect with their peers that they find an activity they really like and, and, and take advantage of the full experience. Okay. What are the books that you read? Well, I have two previous editions of this book. The first one, and it's behind me, I think is called Seven Steps for Success, High School to College Transition Strategies for Students with Disabilities. And the other one was called, oh my gosh, I've already forgotten. From high school to college, steps to success for students with disabilities, but they are now out of print since the new one is out. Being the sex, like I personally like visuals, do you do your books have pictures if so who's the illustrator? That's a great question. I, we, I my book does not have any visuals. Um, except for the cover, and I actually didn't get to find out who designed the cover. What country are based in, and what is your favorite place at? I'm sorry, what was the first part again, please? What country are you based in, and what is your favorite place at? Oh, so I'm based in the United States, and my favorite place here, I, I, I'm going to have to say where I live here in New Jersey. Okay. What is a fun fact about you? A fun fact about me is that when I was, I think, 16 and what, uh, what we call here a junior in high school, which means I was in my third year of high school, I marched in the Walt Disney World Main Street Parade with my high school marching band. We had won uh, a contest, I think it was a, a drawing, and we marched on Main Street. So I played flute at that time, but I don't anymore. Wow. Thank you, yeah, Elizabeth, it was for the cool. time and sharing about your new book. Thank, Thank you, you for everyone this for listening.